Greetings Cyberdogs and welcome to the tutorial on how to use the World Downloader mod on Dogcraft. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install the World Downloader mod and then how to make use of it to download your bases on the Dogcraft server. Big change is coming, and as the Survival 4 world approaches, you'll want to remember everything you've done on the Survival 3 world, and this tutorial will show you exactly how. I'll also show you how you can add your world download to the Dogcraft wiki to preserve it and allow others to download it for years to come. Without further ado, let's get started. So, what are we actually going to need in order to get this done? Well, we'll need two main things. Number one, the world downloader mod. Number two, multi-MC. What is multi-MC, you ask? Well, it's a Minecraft launcher essentially that allows us to run modified Minecraft jars. Don't worry, it's a perfectly safe piece of software but we'll need it in order to run the World Downloader mod easily. Let's start by downloading the World Downloader mod itself, by heading to the Minecraft forum page, and then going to the download section. Click the top version, which is the latest version of the World Downloader mod. You'll be then taken to a GitHub page. You'll now want to find the Minecraft version of the World Downloader mod you want. If you're playing on 1.14, find the one that's marked with 1.14.4 on it. If you're playing on 1.15, choose the 1.15 one. We recommend using the Minecraft version that's associated with the current Dogcraft server version to maximize compatibility. I'm going to download the Minecraft 1.14.4 version for now. Excellent. Download the zip folder and place it in your downloads for now. We'll need this later. Now for MultiMC. Click the second link in the description and scroll down until you see the big green download button for Windows. If you use macOS, you should download the macOS version instead, of course. Once you've downloaded it, extract the file you've downloaded of MultiMC, and then click the MultiMC.exe file. Now, Windows might not like the file, so you want to click the More Info button to run anyway. Don't worry, this is a safe file. Windows just doesn't like it for some reason. Typical Windows. Okay. Once you're running the file, complete setup, and you should be good to go in MultiMC. Next, you want to click the New Instance button in the top left. It looks like a white page. Next, you want to rename the name of your new instance to whatever version, followed by underscore WDL. Set the group to WDL as well. Notice how I'm running Minecraft 1.15 on this new instance. However, I'm downloading World Downloader for 1.14. This is fine just for now. We're going to change it later. Don't worry about it. Next, you want to select Edit Instance, and then Add to Jar File. This will open up your file directory, and then you want to go to Navigate to where you saved your WorldUnloaderMod.zip file, and then click on that. Then click OK. Now you can click Launch, but you'll be prompted to enter your email and password if you haven't already for your Minecraft account. So just quickly sign into your Minecraft account. and then it should begin downloading the Minecraft asset files. This is going to take a while, so I'll quickly speed it up for us. Once you're done, your game should crash. And yeah, this is on purpose because, and the reason why it's crashing is because there's a mismatch between the Minecraft version we selected and the World Unloader mod. And this is on purpose. We like, we like to force a crash now just to make sure that we've done it correctly up until this point. So if your game crashed, with exit code minus one, then you're all good for now. Excellent. Okay. Now we want to click on the instance again, click edit instance, and then we want to change the version by clicking here. And then we want to select 1.14.4, which is the same version as the World Unloader mod. We're just making sure we crash to begin with, just to make sure that we've done everything correctly. You can now click launch again, and it'll then download all the assets again. Sorry, but it's kind of important, so let's just speed this up one more time. Okay, that just about did it. Excellent. Now, the game should boot. And it'll boot right to the title screen of Minecraft. Now we can go to multiplayer and enter the Dogcraft IP address again. It might ask you about Windows Defender again, just to click OK and allow on public and private networks to make sure everything will work, and then log into Dogcraft. So 
you'll now notice that when you press the escape button, there is a start download button. But don't press this just yet. You want to click the three dots next to it. You'll now be prompted about a multi-world support option. You want to deny this, so just keep it on disabled and click the done button. We don't need multi-world support. That's for servers that use multiple worlds on one server rather than separate servers for each world. Dockcraft used to use this, but we no longer use it, so just ignore it for now. You'll then be taken to the options menu for the world downloader mod. This menu contains all sorts of useful options about how the game will save your world. You should have a look around to see if you'd like to change anything, but we want to head to world generator overrides. This allows us to input the Dogcraft Survival 3 seed. In essence, what this will do is it will mean that areas where you do not download the world will be replaced with the naturally generated Survival 3 world, that is, the world before any other players came to it. To find out the Survival 3 seed, type slash seed in game and click on the thing in chat. It's also in the description below if you just like to paste it in, but you want to put the seed in this box here. This now means that when you're downloading the world, any areas that are not downloaded by you will be replaced with the default world of Survival 3. This will help keep things natural and avoid clunky chunk poles and big void areas. It's very nice. Once you're done with the settings, you can then back out and then click Start Downloading. The World Downloader mod works by downloading chunks that you've currently in. So whenever you enter a new chunk, it'll save that chunk to a file in your single player worlds. Basically, you need to walk to wherever you want to download, and then it'll automatically download it for you. So have a good walk around and enjoy the sights of Survival 3 one last time. All right, there's a couple of things I should note. Some things can't be saved by the World Downloader mod, such as beacon statuses and note block statuses. However, you can save things like the contents of containers by simply opening the containers. Other things can be saved too if you interact with them, so give it a try. Things like item frames, however, will save automatically, so you don't need to do anything there. Maps will also save. You don't need to go to where the map area is itself. You just need to have the map, and it'll save for you. Once you're done, open the ESC menu again, and then click Stop Downloading. Excellent. Your download will be complete. Now, you can disconnect from Dogcraft and head on over to your single player worlds. There should now be a new world simply named Dogcraft. You can rename this world later if you'd like to keep all things organized, but this is your downloaded world, so head on in and explore. Now, if you'd like to upload your world to the wiki so that other players can download it and view it, all you need to do is open your resource packs menu, then click on open the resource pack folder, then you want to go back to click on saves. This is the directory that contains all of the world downloaded worlds you have. So what you want to do now is take that world, put it in a compressed zip file, and upload it to the Google Drive shared folder, linked in announcements and available also in the description. Once you've uploaded it in there, the wiki administrator will then put it on the wiki for you, so other players can be able to view it all around the world. Isn't that nice? That just about covers everything you need to know about the World Unloader mod. So, let's return back to the studio. Well, Cyberdogs, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you very much for watching, and please enjoy your world downloads. Ladies and gentlemen, until next time, this is William signing off.